been on Mount Vernon Road Southeast or Cedar Rapids recently, you've lived it. Construction <laughs> clogging traffic. Yeah. However, one thing you might not have noticed, a brand new business mm. right in the middle of all that construction. And KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain joins us now in the studio. And Molly, where exactly is this business located? Great question. Let's take a look at the map. It's involving, oh, I thought it was going to zoom in. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Vernon Road and 14th Street and Visionaire Barbershop and Tattoo Parlor is right smack dab in the middle of the mess. Colby Bolden used to cut hair at Trims and Marion, but now he struck out on his own, opening Visionaire Barbershop and Tattoo Parlor on March 1st. And starting on March 18th, the area outside his business, specifically from 8th Street Southeast to 14th Street, looked like this. With the traffic and stuff like this, it's kind of hard for people to find us. Bolden said he had a lot of clientele built up over the years, but still. It definitely has impacted like the walk-ins. Walk-ins that make up a large part of business. I would say it's probably pretty much 50-50 walk-ins and appointments. The construction, making things difficult, even for people who have appointments. I almost did not come <laughs> because I had to not only drive around numerous times <laughs> to make sure that I could fit in the small space that is available um, in this back parking space. But since um, the street off by come and go is um, also blocked off, I couldn't park on the street and just walk up. Michaela Carney is a loyal customer of the tattoo side of the business, Art with Lynn, but had never visited this space before. She was amazing and she offered a video of her literally walking out her front door into where I needed to go. Bowden made this video and employees have been sending it to customers to try and help them find their way in. I asked Bowden if there was any way to measure the impact of construction. This is kind of like a new location, so I don't know how much it would get if it wasn't like this, obviously. But one thing is for sure, he'll be grateful when it's over. Yeah, this is a pretty prime real estate. Like I said, it's not the most convenient, but I'm just kind of hoping when it's all said and done, it's going to be very nice and convenient for us. I reached out to the city. They said this project is to put a roundabout at the intersection with 10th Street Southeast, adding the roundabout portion will, quote, be substantially complete this year with the overall project lasting through the year into 2025. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News.